a variety of different types of stromatolites exist. Here's just a few of them. For instance, these are some of the weird stromatolites that occur in the mid part of the Precambrian. What was probably the greatest diversity of Maniran communities and Manirans in general. You get a tremendous variety of different kinds of stromatolites, which have been given various names, such as Newlandia, or Coperia, which you see here, or Cryptozoon. The variety of stromatolites represent different organisms making up the original community of microbes. Differences in water depth at which the stromatolite grew are differences in such factors as the presence of currents or the absence of currents, the presence of tides, and the local extent of shallow water all had their influence in producing different kinds of stromatolites, as did the variety of genera and species of manirans that produce the stromatolites themselves. The earliest stromatolites are generally simple. They're often made up of these types of cyanobacteria, which are called coccoid bacteria, or coccoid cyanobacteria. They also can, can contain filamentous cyanobacteria, like you see here. The oldest stromatolites are found in strata of the Archean era. These are usually made up of dark banded layers of organic rich silica. They're usually not tremendously complicated or tremendously varied. These stromatolites from Steep Rock Lake, Ontario are huge. Large domes like these are made up of many, many smaller domes. And sometimes even the smaller domes are made up of smaller domes yet. The photosynthesizing cyanobacteria produce a sticky gelatinous material which binds sediment particles together. It's this gelatinous material, along with the minerals produced through photosynthesis, that build up the domal layers that characterize and give this distinct signature to stromatolites. There's a number of inorganic things that look superficially like stromatolites. But once you really get to know stromatolites, they have a very distinct signature, which is very, very distinctive and which, it's, although it's very hard to explain what it is, it is a recognizable signature that one familiar with the variety of stromatolites will immediately recognize as being biogenic. Often occurring reefs. Here's a mass of them tilted on end, a reef of large domal stromatolites in Wyoming. <laughs> 